Here's a warning. Think twice before you snoop. Couples going through messy divorces are turning to new ways to record their partners from GPS trackers and hidden apps. Joining us now in studio to talk more about the legal consequences of spying on your spouse is Laura Paris, a family lawyer at Shulman Law Firm. Laura, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you're seeing an increase in couples doing this to each other, uh, snooping on each other and, uh, and, and using apps and that sort of thing to gain ammunition in a divorce proceeding. So tell us what's legal and what's not. So it's actually a kind of a difficult question to answer. My rule of thumb when clients come to me um, about gathering evidence against their spouse is I say if they've put it out in a public realm, it's usually fair game. Anything that you have to go dig a little bit deeper, maybe snoop somewhere, try to guess a password where, you know, you don't actually have been given access to that, that's where you should start being so you're careful. Saying social media, for example, fair game. Direct messages on social media. What about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, as long as it's being sent to you, yeah. if you're going into someone's social media to get access to that direct message, that could be some, you know, that leads to an, another question. But for sure, if a message is being sent to you, if an email is being yeah. sent to you, things like that, I would say, are fair game. Okay, so pull the veil back for us. Talk to us about some of these new techniques. What is this new world we're living in? Well, I mean, technology has gone pretty crazy in the in the last, you know, in the last decade or, or more. And, um, you know, we're seeing things like Google Home, for example, yeah. where you're literally attaching, you know, any sort of app device together all through this one main hub. Uh, by having something like that, you potentially have, have the ability to check someone's calendar, to send messages on their behalf, things like that, which could lead to, uh, you know, uh, giving different types of evidences in your in your court case, uh, which people are, are, t are starting to do. And uh, are, are you know, typically when we hear about new technologies being used in any way, the courts and the law can sometimes be a little slow to catch up. Where are we on that front? Well, the, again, I'd say it's it really depends on the on the circumstance um, and how the evidence was obtained and why these devices were put in place in the first place. Again, going back to something like Google Home, those these systems aren't installed for the purpose of snooping. They're installed for the purpose of you know connecting your home. Um, Convenience. Exactly. Yeah. So when you're looking at it from that angle. Well, sure, the court's going to be skeptical in terms of admitting anything that you're getting from that because the reality is it wasn't installed for the purpose right. of gaining evidence. Okay, so let's talk a personal protection. What do you do if you suspect that your spouse is snooping on you? I would say change, you know, the rule of thumb when you're getting separated, if there's anything that you have uh, that may give your spouse access to something that's personal, change your password. Lock it down. Lock it down, absolutely. That's, that's probably the quickest and easy way to... Uh, to protect yourself. But but for somebody who has these these devices, these technologies, you know, everything from a Fitbit to an Apple Watch to a Google smart home, um, is the is the recommendation to not not be afraid of this technology? Definitely don't be afraid of it. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, you know, society, again, and the courts are coming around to understand how, how this is all playing into these, these types of proceedings. The reality is a lot of people think that these types of evidence are more valuable than they actually are. So, you know, when you do think, you know, maybe I should protect myself in this way or maybe I have access to this, Talk to your family lawyer about it. Figure out, is it even worth my while to look into this and try to get this evidence? Or do I need to protect myself in this situation? Laura, thank you so much. Uh, it's kind of scary. It's a scary world. But thanks for clearing some of that up for us. Thank you. All right, up next on Your Morning, comedian Wes Barker takes us to Vancouver's historic vote.